My name is Karen Bright. I'm an ex-Marine, now working for the police, operating in danger areas. One day I was transferred to our new world president's prestigious capital, Alpha City. They sent for people like me for dangerous missions, and yet this city didn't have a reputation for being a troubled area. On that day, they asked me to overpower a gang of terrorists that had besieged the city hospital, plunging the whole area into a state of terror. Any police squad could have dealt with it easily. It was a bit fishy. But instead, my boss had canceled my holidays to send me there. That really put me in a bad mood. My name is Dean Trevis. I'm an ex-Marine, now working for the police, operating in danger areas. One day, I was transferred to our new world president's prestigious capital, Alpha City. They sent for people like me for dangerous missions. And yet, this city didn't have a reputation for being a troubled area. That day, they just asked me to overpower a gang of terrorists that had besieged the city hospital, plunging the whole area into a state of terror. Any police squad could have dealt with it easily. It was a bit fishy. But instead, my boss had canceled my holidays to send me there. That really put me in a bad mood. The evening began more brutally than I'd expected. Once I had come to, this terrorist who had saved me from that weird creature started telling me what was really happening. His story seemed absolutely ridiculous. His name was Jim, and he was part of a resistance group fighting against an invasion of alien beings who had taken control of the country and were transforming humans. So most of the resistance fighters' opponents were actually aliens, afraid of being exposed. Unfortunately, some innocent people got involved too, like I did. Then Jim suggested that I join him in his fight. I found his story very hard to believe, but I wanted to know more, so I agreed. Anyway, I didn't really have a choice. I could either act as a puppet for these crustaceans from outer space, or keep fighting this man who had saved my life. The evening began more brutally than I'd expected. Once I had come to this terrorist who had saved me from that weird creature, he started telling me what was really happening. His story seemed absolutely ridiculous. His name was Jim, and he was part of a resistance group fighting against an invasion of alien beings who had taken control of the country and were transforming humans. So most of the resistance fighters' opponents were actually aliens, afraid of being exposed. Unfortunately, some innocent people got involved too, like I did. Then Jim suggested that I join him in the fight. I found his story very hard to believe, but I wanted to know more, so I agreed. Anyway, I didn't really have a choice. I could either act as a puppet for these crustaceans from outer space, or keep fighting this man who had saved my life. Jim arranged to meet me on the roof of a building where I lost no time in finding out about my first mission. It turned out that I had to destroy the communication center parabola because, according to Jim, the aliens were using it to transmit information reports, inciting the citizens to go to the hospital en masse to protect themselves against a viral epidemic. There, the aliens were using the opportunity to contaminate the people, using creatures like the one that had attacked me. I didn't think I'd have a problem completing this mission, but I was wrong. Jim arranged to meet me on the roof of a building, where I lost no time in finding out about my first mission. It turned out that I had to destroy the communication center parabola, because according to Jim, the aliens were using it to transmit information reports, inciting the citizens to go to the hospital en masse, protect themselves against a viral epidemic. There, the aliens were using the opportunity to contaminate the people, using creatures like the one that had attacked me. I didn't think I'd have a problem completing this mission, but I was wrong. Everything that Jim had told me turned out to be true. My colleagues in the police had tried to dispose of me. They'd already been contaminated. Having just managed to escape into the sewers to avoid the police that were still out on the streets, I decided to go and warn the president, who with a bit of luck shouldn't have been contaminated yet. Jim showed me the path through the tunnels often used by the resistance fighters and which could lead to the basements of the president's home. Everything that Jim had told me turned out to be true. My colleagues in the police had tried to dispose of me. They had already been contaminated. Having just managed to escape into the sewers to avoid the police that were still out in the streets, I decided to go and warn the president, who, with a bit of luck, 
shouldn't have been contaminated yet. Jim showed me the path through the tunnels often used by the resistance fighters, and which could lead to the basements of the President's home. Once I had overcome that monster in his final stage of mutation, I had no idea where the President could have escaped to. But I wasn't going to waste any time finding out. The bodyguard admitted that he'd left for the military base in the Great Desert. But first, I was seriously considering changing my clothes, because the stench and the state that I was in meant that I was just as disgusting as the aliens. Once I had overcome that monster in his final stage of mutation, I had no idea where the president could have escaped to. But I wasn't going to waste any time in finding out. The bodyguard admitted that he had left for the military base in the Great Desert. But first, I was seriously considering changing my clothes, because the stench and the state that I was in meant that I was just as disgusting as the aliens. The president was in a state of shock, but fortunately he hadn't been contaminated yet. Jim contacted me again to tell me that they'd found the site of the alien nest, which was off the Pacific coast, beneath a well-guarded oil rig, but we didn't have enough firepower to destroy it. Then the president told me that there was an abandoned town near the coast that had been used for military experiments, and that I could find a nuclear warhead there, but that was as much as I knew. I was going for broke. The president was in a state of shock, but fortunately, he hadn't been contaminated yet. Jim contacted me again to tell me that they had found the site of the alien nest, which was off the Pacific coast beneath a well-guarded oil rig. But we didn't have enough firepower to destroy it. Then, the president told me that there was an abandoned town near the coast that had once been used for military experiments, and that I could find a nuclear warhead there. But that was as much as I knew. I was going for broke. My efforts had not been in vain, and the final battle was approaching. Thanks to that nuclear warhead, I managed to wipe out all the aliens. But I had to be extremely careful when I was carrying the weapon. The fate of the entire human race was at stake. My efforts had not been in vain, and the final battle was approaching. Thanks to that nuclear warhead, I managed to wipe out all the aliens. But I had to be extremely careful when I was carrying the weapon. The fate of the entire human race was at stake. Mission accomplished. Those creatures weren't ready to return to the surface. The contaminated humans returned to normal, and the remaining aliens couldn't survive without their queen. But we still don't know where they came from or who created them. Jim was decorated, the president returned to his HQ, and I finally got my well-deserved vacation, paid for by the world government. But this time, my boss wouldn't be able to contact me. Mission accomplished. Those creatures weren't ready to return to the surface. The contaminated humans returned to normal, and the remaining aliens couldn't survive without their queen. But we still don't know where they came from, or who created them. Jim was decorated, the president returned to his headquarters, and I finally got my well-deserved holidays, paid for by the world government. But this time, my boss wouldn't be able to contact me at a crucial moment.